All right, all right, all right. I'll tell you one thing we enjoy around here. Um, hearing from the actual man himself. The man named in the title. The man showcased by the NFL. The man on screen. Demario Davis, linebacker for the Saints. It's a name I recognize. It's a name that's hard to forget. It looks like James Harden mixed with um, T-Pain. But that's just my opinion. Let's continue. A uh, bunch of guys. Okay. We talked to you at the Pro Bowl as well, so we're not going to cover any of the same ground. Okay. Tell you what, you put some, um, you put some T-Pain glasses on and, geez. See what I'm saying? Okay. Although we're going to try and get you to be less humble about yourself. Oh, man. But he's a humble guy. He was definitely on the list last year. Let's talk about Demario a little bit. What's it like having him play in front of you? He plays like the Terminator. Whenever so they've got Cameron Jordan and Demario Davis lining up as defensive ends. Wowee. He makes a decision to where he's going to go. He's going full speed. And whatever is in front of him is getting destroyed. There's some great linebackers in the league. But in terms of the middle linebacker coming down and... My bad. He's a linebacker. Like imposing his will on players? There's probably none like DeMario. This time the handoff to Fall. DeMario Davis slams oh. Deontay Foreman. Oh. Folded You've him like a, a ditch here. Run defense the last like five years now, and it starts with the front seven, and he's in there. The Mario was the leader of the Saints defense, who has a great defense. You know, uh, I feel like they go as he go. Demario Davis led the Saints in tackles again in 2021, eclipsing the century mark for the fifth straight season. All right, let's look up some stats. I was blown away by these last year, and uh, they haven't stopped. Clearly, he's been in the league for ten years. January the 11th, 1989, he's 33 years of age, 6 foot 2, 250 pounds. Went to Arkansas State, drafted, third round, 2012 draft, pick 77. Jets, Browns, Jets again, and the Saints for the last four years. He's never been named to a Pro Bowl, would you believe? He has had one first team All-Pro selection in 2019, and two second team All-Pro selections in 2020 and 2021. He won the Bart Starr Award last year, which is for the NFL player who best exemplifies outstanding character and leadership in the home, on the field, and in the community. And as of week 18, 2021, he had amassed over 1,000 career tackles. 29 and a half sacks, three forced fumbles, six fumble recoveries, two interceptions, and 41 passes deflected. Uh, okay. Six foot two, two twenty, pre-draft. He's put on a little bit of weight. Runs a four five two forty yard dash. Thirty eight and a half inch vertical. Ten foot four on the broad jump. Thirty two reps on the bench press. That is insane. There's a video here to watch his combine workout. I wouldn't mind doing that, but I'm not going to. On September 12, 2020, he signed a three year, twenty seven million dollar contract extension with the Saints. And as we said before, one hundred and sixty total games 1027 total tackles what are we averaging seven per game not bad every single year being in the league for 10 years what a legend let's get into it when he hits a hole whether it be a guard fullback or running back he gonna get look he gonna get his feelings across inside handoff to McCaffrey. Oh! hit hard by demario davis oh God, not only the hit by Demario Davis, but he gets twisted up between two other players as well. That's not nice. He's like the apex, you know, captain. You know what I mean? Like, he could defend the run. He could defend the pass. Pressure again on Jones. Had to get rid of it fast. And an excellent defensive play by Demario Davis on Jonu Smith. And watch 56. Yeah, you'd be happy about that. I mean, I ain't going to lie. He looks like the... Um, he looks like the bad guy off of um, <laughs> the way that those <laughs> the way that those dreadlocks are, are, are flying around. Honestly, looks like a bunch of snakes coming from his head, which reminds me of nothing, none other than um, Pirates of the Caribbean. He stays leverage on that crossing route so he can make that. Looks like a spider. 
play across a tarantula. The body of the receiver, perfect position. Why he's one of the best. His play recognition, super fast. His communication, his tackling in open space, covering, blitzing the quarterback, getting off line. Oh, way to stay alive. He can do it all. If they let him throw the ball, he'd probably try that too. Let's have a look at that play. When did he see the quarterback? Communication is tackling in open space, middle. covering, right, so he can, blitzing obviously, the quarterback. Okay, so even at this point, he doesn't know whether the quarterback's going to go up the middle or not. But he decides to turn on the inside. Quarterback, and lo and behold, line. Well, maybe he did know. Maybe he did. Great play, though. I mean, he can do it all. If they let him throw the ball, he'd probably try that, too. Davis did it all in Week 7 versus Seattle, leading the Saints in tackles, tackles for loss, quarterback hits, and sacks. It was just one of those games, man. Defensively, we just knew we had to get stops. And I know going out each and every drive that a big part of that is, you know, guys counting on me to make plays. And guys trying to block me, I felt unblockable. Late in the game, we had been setting this play up all day. You know, I kind of been going away. And then this one, I faked like I was going away and I came all the way back around. The line didn't pick me up and Gino didn't see me to the last minute. So I was able to get him. And then, you know, kind of the last play of the game, I knew the quarterback was scrambling away and DK would run across the field. So when I saw him coming across, I just took off. I just abandoned my responsibility and it was there. It should have been an interception. And it's knocked away. Demario Davis. Oh, DK should have been. Demario Davis is all over the field. Jeez, he did well to get there. I, must I was have kind of mad at myself. I dropped the interception. One of the better leaders in this league. I think the best linebacker in the game is all around. There's not much that he doesn't do well. I ain't going to say the best linebacker in the game. That might be a little bit of team bias there, mate. But at the end of this, I'll make up my own mind. Guys, we're back at another running back, Cordell pa Cord Cordell? Corderell? Corduroy. Corduroy Pants. Um, his name's Cordell, I'd say. Patterson. For the Falcons. We've seen him multiple times on this list thus far and he comes in at number 73 thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one peace